Can you just go through and just name all the kids? Well, Noel, Seamus, Marion, Francis, uh, the two that died, Keon and Patricia, Colette, Maeve, Des, Keon, Martin, Paul, Leslie, Alan and Deirdre. And there weren't, there were two Keons because I called the second one after the first one that died. Did you imagine that you would have 15 children? No, how would you imagine that? You know, so how did it happen? What like, do you mean, like how did it happen? Uh, when you and Dad got married, you obviously wanted kids. Did well, you no, I'd never done to me one way or the other. Did you think you'd have two or three? I mean, it's not like, I didn't think anything. You just... Yeah, blowed on. Kieran was born in 48, and Patricia was born March 50, and those two children died because of a, a rare blood, a rare blood disorder. But by the time Francis was born, they were able to cure her. And then all the rest of you then, with anything that had it, were all cured after that. You were the first one to come along. Though. That's right. Yeah. There was trees that went there. Yeah. Yeah, I spent a, ten weeks in Temple. That's when they discovered they looked like more the into it then because two had died. So then when I came around <coughs> they looked into it more and they, I had a complete blood change so I spent ten weeks in Temple Street Hospital. So I was very special for my fault. Absolutely. Things were tight. But we were never that we were never really no. impoverished. Mammy had a good job. She worked in the office in the factory, which was a good job. Daddy was the one who wouldn't really have had the volume of work, right? But he worked when he got it. But having said that, she held the show together. Okay, oh yeah, no, we were never in college. We were never went without shoes on our feet or a bite. The fact that it took, the fact that it took six hours every day. <laughs> the fact that it wasn't that we didn't have a shoe. Well, now stop. We didn't have a shoe. Six of us in the bed. There was three of us at the bottom and three of us at the top. That's right. And the and around us. There were the, the blankets, and every at night time, if we were out or anything, we'd be coming home, running home to see who'd get into the house first mm. to get into the dip in the bed because nobody wanted to be at the end. You had to be at the wall or you had to be in the middle. Nobody, and you could wake up with feet in your mouth. <laughs> was this unusual at the time to have 15 children? No, it wasn't. Mrs. Tony, who up the road, had 17. But other than that, it wasn't, it wasn't unusual to have 12. Those 15 children combined have only had 20 children. That's right. Why do you think that is? Haven't oh, you? The fact that Mam has had 15 children, right? And you, did that have any uh, influence in you just having one? Yeah. Why did you not think it was great growing up in a family where it was just Yeah, it was great growing up in a family with loads of people. And that's very different from raising a family where there's loads of people. I think it should be, everybody should want to share a room with 12 other people, <laughs> like staying in a youth hostel. And <laughs> great for anyone that has ambition to go travelling later on as a student. Paul Duffy made his first communion at the same time as Deirdre. Well, he made, did he make it in the church with me? He, no, no, he made no. it in Casa Blaney. And then we came up here he then and you, that afternoon, and you had made yours that day as well. So that was just and then the photograph was in the paper of the uh, an auntie and her nephew maybe the first community. He was about together. five months older than that. Yes, five months yes. Older than Paul was well. born in August he and was dear John was born in January. January. Who's your favourite? No favourites. Am I not your favourite? No, there are no favourites. Okay, you like us all? Yeah. I remember Mammy making a statement the ages, years and years ago when we were small. She said that out of 13 children, she would at least she would expect was a nurse, a nun and a priest. Colette used to always say laugh, and there you are now, Mammy's away to see her only child. <laughs> <laughs> if, you were, uh, if you were, could do it all again, would you have another 15 kids? No. Why not? That's what I mean. God knows what it would have been if it hadn't have put effect off. Where would you have liked to have gone to? Mm, yeah. You don't know where I might have ended up. Yeah. Who knows? So you're saying you didn't, you're saying I'm, 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 I'm unwanted? No, you're not unwanted, but I wouldn't do it again. <laughs>